We were today at the lowest point that a person can reach, and from there, it's only possible to go up, and we must go up, so that we don't find ourselves in a place in which we don't want to be. Therefore, we're going to make every effort to rise up and start a new path. With God's help, we'll succeed. We're here entering the new Ganetel. Now there are already dozens of families here. Soon there will be much more. This is the new synagogue. It was planned in a way that resembles the old synagogue in Ganetel and Gush Katif. Anyone who knew our synagogue sees that the new one really resembles it. I don't really know what exactly the approval refers to, but I do know that the community of Ganetal is in the midst of a massive construction boom. Today, 30 families live here. With God's help by Pesach, there will be 50 to 60 families here. In the summer, there will be at least 80 families. The community is set to return to what it was in Gush Katif. Finally, we're getting some peace and quiet. The feeling is good, even though the years from the expulsion until today were not easy and we underwent a lot of hardships prior to the construction itself. But I hope that when we finally enter our home, we can finally put our heads down and say, thank God, we have arrived at the right place. Since Yonatan Bassi, who was the head of the administration for the ex-Belize, left and Betsy Lieberman came in, we felt a change in the perception. There is a big willingness to help to solve problems that we would always encounter anywhere we went. Today, things are handled in a much more favorable way and we see this in the field. Lately, a new director was appointed to the Tznufa administration. He's one of us, an ex -Pali. We trust him that he'll do the best he can in order to close this big wound of the expulsion of the communities of Gush Katif. May he do it quickly for the good of us all.